Autograss racing is a motorsport for the true petrol head, but it's not just for the men, because even the women and juniors can get behind the wheel. Last time I visited Nottingham Autogress Club at the Oxton Raceway and I met up with local racer Trev Jones to see how he would fare at his first meet in a 2023 in his Class 4. At the same event I caught up with Scunthorpe Junior racer Troy Holtby who was debuting a new car for the 2023 season. After recently racing in the Junior Specials category I asked him why he decided to take up this new car and class. Uh, well, it was a lot to do with room in the car and uh... I just found I had a going Craig Conway's car at a school hot meeting and I really enjoyed it and uh, I just thought if I started this now, I'll have a year in it now and then I can take it to men's after, so it's just a year's experience really. I'm not too fussed about how it goes, I'm just excited to start a new challenge really. Yeah. So you had, a, you had a good junior specials year last year, obviously getting a top four in the bus, which is good. Um, you had one go in a, in a Yaris at Scunny last year. How does the car, those cars feel compared to your special? Uh, it was definitely a lot different. It's uh, quite, it feels like a lot bigger to drive, I suppose, and there's a lot more like door-to-door -door contact, I suppose. It's, it's definitely different, but I enjoyed the challenge, so I'm excited to yeah. Obviously, you can't see your front wheels now, so yeah, you've got to be a bit careful there. Yeah, it's a bit strange, that, yeah. So this is actually going to be a family car. Um, your dad races, obviously, and your brother races, so you won't you won't have your brother pestering you yeah, anymore. That's correct, yeah. But um, I hear your mum's going to have a go as well. That's the plan, yeah. Uh, well, dad signed her up for Bass, so uh, I'm not sure if she'll she'll do all five, but. I'm excited to see her racing really, she, yeah. we drag her across the country every weekend so it'd be nice to see her, yeah. see her get involved really. And what about today for you then, so it's all about getting comfortable in the car, is it a bit of practice? Yeah, uh, I'm not too sure how today goes really, I, I like to enjoy myself as I'm sure I will, but just getting used to it and changing set up things and I've spoke to Craig a little bit, just, he's told me everything that I need to know really. So. Yeah, because Craig built the car did he? Yeah, full Craig car yeah. Uh, We've got it back about a week ago. There she's mint really. He's on the mint oh, yeah. It, yeah, it really looks good. Um, we'll catch up with you throughout the day and All see right. how it goes. Alright, cheers. So with nerves and excitement setting in, it was time to see how Troy would get on in the new car and his first race of the season.
So it was a debut race victory then for Troy with the new car, leading the race from start to finish, which must be a great confidence booster for the rest of the day. As he made his way back to the pits, I also headed over there just so I could get his thoughts on how the race unfolded. So Troy, first race out of the way, uh, a win, picked up, your, picked up your first bit of damage yeah. though, uh, how do you think it went? Yeah, it was good, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it looked yeah. a bit slippy out there yeah, though. it was quite understeery. Yeah, yeah, tight corners. Yeah, tight corner was really wet on the exit. Yeah, so. really wet, so the last lap there, that, that other car just looked up the inside, yeah. uh, but you wasn't giving way. Yeah, I didn't fancy it, so turning yeah. towards the infield. <laughs> So uh, what do you reckon you can do for the next one, anything or uh, just see what the track change is like? Change some stuff, it's, just, it's getting used to front wheel drive car now isn't it, yeah. come on rear wheel drive so yeah. see what happens I suppose. But first win of the year so you must be happy. Solid. Good. And a bit of damage there, <laughs> first scuff of the year. So with a heat win under his belt, confidence is high going into the final, but with this being autograss racing, we know it doesn't always go to plan, as we find out here in his junior final. So after a great start to the day with a win, sadly the final didn't go the same way, picking up damage and work to do before the next meeting. Two weeks later I paid Troy a visit at his home to have a closer look at the car and also reflect back on that season opener and find out what he's learnt about his new machine for the 2023 season. So Troy, we had our first meeting at Nottingham a few weeks ago, obviously new car, uh, not sure how it was going to go, but the first race went actually pretty well. Um, from your viewpoint then, how, how do you think it overall went? Yeah, I think it was really good, I uh, really enjoyed it. Um, it's definitely different to the special. Uh, it's definitely a lot more a lot more door-to-door -door racing than the special. Um, I wasn't really quite sure how to handle it when there was contact, as it was quite like tail happy really, because obviously they're a lot what bigger than a special aren't they but yeah I, really, I think it went quite well for the first race obviously didn't didn't make out the second race and then got took out in the final but that's just racing for you isn't it so yeah 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 we're back to that first race though obviously you made a pretty good start and uh, it went down went down got the gear change right got into the first corner and you was you was in front um was you wary about where all the cars were or was you just trying to focus on where you were going uh Oh, I, I, kept, I do have a bit of looking before I turn in from the special, because I know that if, if someone tags you back real in the special then it's, it's not really very happy, is it? But yeah. in these, I suppose, you, you can kind of... They have got the doors to knock each other out the way, I suppose. But uh, we, we were going to put a mirror in it, but we didn't, so I think my granddad's fitting that tomorrow. So it's all about learning, isn't it? Making sure you know what the car does. Um, it, did, it felt felt comfortable out there, it felt like it yeah, did what you wanted. Yeah, it felt the exact same as when I raced Craig's. Uh, just everything was there, it's just I need to learn how to keep it going around now, pretty much. It's all about momentum in these, I mean it is a special as well, but with these you've got actually less, a little less power, um, and they're a lot heavier as you yeah. say, so it is all about making sure that um, you, you know what the car's going to do, yeah. you can keep the power up and, and keep it used to the conditions and get mm. out of the corners all the time. So uh, you was overall happy, you won your first race, yeah. so uh, brilliant on that. Um, was, was there plans to make any changes for later in the day or was it just uh, keep going without We it just was? thought we'd just, we'd just keep going. Uh, I'm sure at Scunthorpe next weekend, mm. then we'll uh, we'll make some changes throughout the day, yeah. see, what, see what the effects of it are, but yeah, we just... Uh, Obviously, the other thing we changed on today was the, the clip on the on the gear stick after she fell off in the second race. <laughs> yeah, That's slight right. technical issue. Yeah. Um, but uh, as we said, we got into that final, and uh, I think obviously you, that second heat not being able to race it was quite valuable because it, I think it affected you in the final yeah, slightly. Yeah, definitely did. Yeah. Um, didn't make us quite a good a start, unfortunately, no, and no. then obviously picked up a couple of scrapes or two, yeah. as we can see. <laughs> yeah. Um, what what happened from your viewpoint? What did you see? Uh, just. 
just saloon racing really. Uh, well, I probably dawed him a little bit too hard into that first corner. I didn't really know what to expect, especially because of the mini as well. So they obviously they do go quite far when you when you make contact, and then uh, just racing. Robin. Yeah. You, you obviously, um, what finished your race off, you had that little incident uh, down the straight where we, uh, you ended up spinning onto the yeah. inbound, unfortunately. Were you aware of that other car there, or um, uh, again, is this something where I the heard him before in? I saw him. I heard him, like, touch me before I saw him, and then by that point, I was already fighting it full lot the other way, so I didn't really know what to do, and I just thought, in case there is any damage, I'll pull off and save it for Scunny, but obviously. Yeah. Yeah, so Scunny is the next meeting. Um, it's a different track, different surface. Uh, we're not sure what it's going to be like yet because we've not raced there and they've done some work on it yeah. for this year. And obviously you've still got a lot to learn with the car. Um, again, it's just going to be, I think, seat time, get used to it. Um, but uh, we might have to wait and see because is, is your dad having a go in qualifying? Yeah. Mm, he says not, but <laughs> I'd like to see him have a go. Uh, he's got no reason not to, really. As long as he keeps all the wheels on it, I won't be that fussed. Yeah, well, obviously, he's got class seven qualifying to do yeah. that as well now, so it'll be a busy morning. That's definitely his priority in seven, yeah. yeah. And what about mum? Is mum making a debut? Yeah, she, she will eventually, but uh, I offered her to race it at Nottingham last weekend, but she claims she hasn't got the overall, but we could definitely sort that. But, well, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm excited to see how we go. I, I think a little bit nervous as well. Yeah. Um, but, but no, I think it'll be great to see, obviously, the car out there with, with your mum behind the wheel. So as we said, Troy, we picked up a bit of damage at the opening meeting. Um, it's, it's not looking as fresh anymore. <laughs> no, definitely um, not. So, what 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 other bits and pieces have you picked up on damage-wise? Have you got to repair, uh, and how do you think it's going to get sorted? Well, obviously down here it's ripped the tag from the door to hold it to this piece, so that just wants tacking up again, really. Yeah. Uh, well, we, we have hammered this bit a little bit straight, but that's that's no major major fix. We can get that sorted, and then obviously that mini light down on the left front is uh, seen better days anyway. Right. But, so um, obviously a little bit of TLC and a bit of work has gone into it between right. between regular meetings. Then, um, what 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 sort of bits do you do you get up to with making sure the car is ready for the next meeting? Uh, well, we haven't really done much to this yet. We've, uh, we've washed it, obviously mentioned straightening the panels out a little bit, but uh, I'd imagine we'll track it. Uh, just everything that we do to make sure that it were like it were ready for the first meeting, really, yeah. once you were brand new. Yeah. Obviously, with a race meeting, with being in juniors, you're technically not allowed to, to touch anything under the bonnet, but um, you, 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 do, you are getting involved with uh, doing bits and pieces when, when it needs it. Yeah, yeah, I definitely enjoy helping. I don't, I don't always show my dad that sometimes, to be fair, but my dad and my granddad and my mum are always there to help me as well, so I'm very appreciative of that. Okay, well, it looks like then we're almost uh, ready to go. A little bit of work to do, and then uh, the SC161 will be back out at the next meeting in a, in a week or so.